Hi, I'm Josh Ackman with uh, the Customer Service Department at Park Industries. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up tool wear on the Velocity. So we're going to start by going to Machine Setup and Tool Wear. This will be something you want to do periodically. What this does is keeps your smart spindle calibrated um, as the tool wears, um, tool wears or anything like that on there to make sure you're getting your correct distance that will uh, that makes your shapes on your velocity here so once we get to our tool wear screen we're going to press and hold the miter to 90 button and bring our miter down to 90 degrees i'm going to swing my screen around here so i can touch it easily here and i have my aluminum bar set up and I'm gonna push that up against the red rollers. So I'm right in front of that smart spindle tool. I'll come back to my screen and I'm going to press and hold to bring this to the current tool wear position. And you'll get a green indicator saying you're at your current tool wear position. And I'm gonna use a 11,000 feeler gauge and I always want to go off of my right side of my tool. And I'm going to hold the aluminum bar tight to the red rollers and just slide my feeler gauge in there. If I would have a big gap in here, I can go to my screen and extend that out or retract it if I'm pushed up against the tool and I'm not hitting my red roller. Once I have this where I can feel nice drag on it, but um, I can still move it, I wanna just turn that tool again, double check it. I'm feeling some good drag there, but it's still, I'm still able to move that feeler gauge. If you have to move yours in or out, you can adjust your jog increment distance by how much you want to move that and just extend or retract your smart spindle. Once you are in place like I am now, we will just capture the position and then I want to press and hold to save that position. If it says that it was not possible, I want to double check. I can see my position is just off of 90 a little bit. And what's happening here is I'm not on my, I'm on my current position that I had earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, for the video's sake, I'm gonna move it to five thou, extend it, and then I will be able to capture, and then I'll get the green highlight. And then I can press and hold and save that. Once you have that saved, your tool wear position is saved in there, and that's what will help give you your shapes, your top and bottom radius, bull nose, all that. If you're noticing that it's not taking up enough or cutting in too much, that would be one of the first things I would check. You always wanna make sure you set it periodically. I like to do it daily, and um, if I, or if you change the tool out, you definitely wanna set that also. If you do have any questions with that, give our customer service department a call and we'll gladly help you out. Thank you.